Yeah. Albert's the only one that came out of the woods with something today. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Stick, you got anything to say for yourself? Here's your time to shine right now. <laughs> It's really hot. <laughs> it's hot? Yeah. What are we doing right now? Looking for tracks by the spring, eh? Track for what? For elephant and buffalo, but mainly elephant wolves. Excellent. on top of the head. Yeah. Straight down at the line in the middle. Oh dude, he's huge. Damn, he's a flash water. I got some ear holes in that sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Me? <laughs> hey, hey. Hey. Awesome, dude. <laughs> How? <laughs> He went down and then got back up. Yeah. <laughs> Started running. Oh, my belt. Yeah, she's empty. <laughs> <laughs> that is it, Bubba. Tenth day. Bam! <laughs> yeah. That ooh, is hot. It is hot. <laughs> You see me trying to get the bullet? My hand was going like that. I, I couldn't get it out. <laughs> that's some tough skin, huh? Mm-hmm. Good. All right. So we won with the elephant. Player, you're going to have to see this part. <laughs> Girls, this is what your um, elephant hair bracelets will be made out of. Cool, huh? And for the next That's, two days, uh, I'm going to use it to beat stick with. <laughs> well, the thing behind cutting off the tail, it's uh, traditional. Yeah. Because when someone during the night or before we get here tomorrow finds this elephant, if he sees the tail's been cut off, he knows it was four hunted rather than poached. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me start by saying what you're looking at right now is the uh, culminate, culmination of uh, the last 10 days of chasing elephant here in Charissa Safari area, northwestern Zimbabwe, correct? Correct, yeah. And uh, Clive Hallamore and I have looked at over how many hundreds of elephants? Phew, a lot. I mean, I know for a fact we've seen over 80 bulls on this trip, so. And uh, we see cars, oh, uh, we normally, on an average day, we'll see over 100 cars, so. But, uh, yeah. I want to say it's been 10 days. We've had a lot of fun doing it. We've had a few hiccups along the way. Um, yeah, it's just how things go, hey? We managed to uh, wear through one Land Cruiser. We're on to our second one. Yeah. <laughs> and this morning started quite funny. Uh, we almost got a buffalo with the truck this morning. Yeah. We actually knocked a buffalo with the truck accidentally. Right into the side door where I'm sitting. Woke me up. Yeah, so that was fairly entertaining. Um, but yeah, we were going down the road. Um, and saw these bulls. Uh, we saw this one in particular at the back, and he turned 
like he, was, he knew we were there and he was just having a look at us. Anyway, they took off and we got out and we let them go. Um, we started following, the wind was terrible. Um, and we mostly followed them about two, three miles. And um, I actually had just turned around to the trackers and said, because well, the, they were going with the wind, so there's no chance we could catch these bulls. And about 200 yards past that, they climbed up this uh, little ridge and dropped off to the left, um, which put the wind at an angle on them, which was nice. Um, and we hadn't gone much further. We saw them standing and feeding. We managed to duck around and get the wind in our face. Um, we didn't approach. Um, there were four bulls, right? Four bulls. We actually originally saw three um, from the vehicles. The fourth one was always there. We just didn't realize it. And um, yeah, we this, this bull fed onto us. That was actually perfect. He came out. The other three stayed off to the right. How far was that shot, you think? It's not very far. I would say about 15 yards. I mean, he's in close, eh? Um, he had some fairly thick stuff um, and he caught it on and he came in at an angle and your brown thumped him. It was very, very exciting. Which was always a good thing. The other bulls turned and went in the opposite direction instead of running up just to see what was going on because that usually can, uh, <laughs> can get uh, it can get testy in a hurry. So, yeah. But yeah, it was brilliant. Um, a beautiful elephant. Um, we've had a lot of fun hunting him. I mean, that's, I suppose, that was counts the most. Huh? Yeah, it's been yeah. a lot of fun. We have had a lot of laughs, which is always good. Yeah. So. And it's been hot. Let's, let's throw that in. Extremely hot. <laughs> yeah, but something that uh, Brown made a point of the other day, you know, I love hunting this time of year. It's October. It's the hottest time of the year. Um, and everybody says to me, I live in Texas. I can handle the heat. That's not the point. The point is, in Texas, when it's hot like that, you, in the right mind, wouldn't be outside in the sun. You'd be in the shade, in a swimming pool, in the tub.